All right, welcome back. So on this episode, we are going to um, check out these salt supplements that some people have been taking for hydration. Um, in particular, we're going to be making the Element T or Element formula at home. I'm going to make um, a half year supply or 178 servings in this case using a um, pound of um, salt. And I actually removed one gram from that in order to get exactly 452 grams of salt, uh, to which I add 68.7 grams of magnesium malate and 68 grams of potassium chloride. Um, together, the, this 178 servings is a half year supply for about $30. I'll include the links to the products I used in the description, but look, 30 bucks for six months instead of $270 for six months. Uh, to me, this was fun, it was quick, it was easy and worth it. All right, so let's talk about what goes in the formula here. Um, it will be one gram of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium per serving. And if you're following my formula here, um, the serving size is, is 3.3 grams to get that dose. So you're probably wondering why there's so much sodium in this uh, formulation. And the reason comes from this 2011 study. And so basically what this paper showed was that the number of adverse health events um, is at a minimum for um, adults when their sodium intake is around four and a half to five grams per day. And so while the FDA recommends 2.3 grams of sodium and complains that Americans are getting on average 3.4 grams, this study suggested that we should be getting a full gram more than we're getting on average. Um, and I, I think that, you know, in isolation, it's hard to uh, know this, all this research is pretty early, um, but I could imagine that the reason um, the FDA is recommending lower sodium really has to do with the fact that 98% of Americans are getting way too uh, little potassium and that the role of potassium and sodium um, are pretty intertwined. We see um, sodium intolerance um, increased when you are getting the right amount of potassium. The other thing here is that the FDA is going to be concerned about people with hypertension or high blood pressure, um, to which they're going to be pretty sodium sensitive. Um, and so, yeah, so looking at the amount of potassium in the formulation, we see, um, you know, 200 milligrams. Um, that is a little higher. The, F the FDA doesn't really like you to supplement more than 100 milligrams of potassium. So, you know, do please uh, consult the doctor before taking 200 milligrams in one go like this. Um, but the reason this has become popular is again that the taking it with the sodium, your your tolerance for it should be higher. Um, but also that we know that uh, people are men on average in the U.S. are getting about three grams a, a day of potassium, and that 4.7 grams is the recommended daily um, intake, which is quite hard to hit. You're talking about you know 10 bananas or you know eight cups of spinach or something, just, just not really a practical amount to get easily through the diet, at least unless you're, you know, not eating a very healthy whole food diet, which you should be striving for. Um, and then the formula has, um, you know, uh, 60 milligrams of magnesium. And again, it's the same story. Like most people are getting two to 300 milligrams of um, magnesium per day. Um, supplements are typically typically about 100 milligrams to make up that difference. Um, but we're having it here in our salt with the 60 milligram extra first thing in the morning. And the research is unfortunately not very deep on this side of things, um, but there was a study on magnesium supplementation in combination with B vitamins, which many people take, um, that showed that magnesium supplementation is effective, linking it to um, improved memory, um, decreased sugar craving, improved libido, blood pressure, fatigue, and concentration um, as markers for health. So let me know in the comments if you've had any success with electrolyte supplementation. And do please talk to your doctor before trying anything new for your diet, especially something like salt. If you have um, pretension or hypertension, 
um, could be risky. So do be, please be safe and enjoy. And I'll be enjoying my salty beverage first thing in the morning, starting tomorrow. All right, final tasting, let's go. Let's see if it tastes like salt water. Hmm, it does. It's better than just table salt and water though, that's for sure.